I'm never gonna spare it, just come in your berries It would've picked a shovel to come in your berry The situation's scary in the morning, merry A system don't turn the rappers out like ever go by to try who I am, P-H-Z, that's sick The king will bridge the L-C, Prince, William, Kanye Or whatever you wanna call it Nova's hover, the mic is still close to no sir Not gonna longer belong to take over Get off a throne, I flow so crazy Why y'all girls like gum when the babies do this for a family to got the fame All your no names, it's just lame Figure that y'all wanna get out my lane So motherfucker, get out my way Danger just like blase, blase, pick line, I'm X-A That's the S-A of fate, the s Get it? Nope. Okay, push replay. Niggas won't say I never be J. Yeah, just stick to being game. Already at dash level. Just look at the motherfucking happy in my name. If you thinking what I'm thinking, if you're not thinking. I'm All right, names Christopher Dorsey, also known as Physics, student at Drexel University, sophomore, um, communications major, corporate and public relations. My name is Huey. Huey Hyde. I'm a sophomore at Drexel University. Close friends with Physics. My name is Sean Pierre Lewis, the CEO of YBS Entertainment. Right now we're working on uh, his new mixtape coming real soon. My day to day is, you know, wake up, shower, then it's classes. Basically my day is walking around chilling with friends, going out to eat at the um, calf or basically having something to eat at my place. Come back to the room, I'm either checking my MySpace, Facebook, checking up on what's happening in the music business recently or what's happening in the film industry. By the end of the night, because I'm up, my mind works constantly better, like during like 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock. That's probably possibly when I'm doing my homework, finishing up, or if I get in the mood, that's when I start writing songs. First and foremost, I'm his friend, you know, part of his support team. Whatever he needs, any, any type of help he needs, you know, I'll be there for him for his music or anything else in the world, you know. He has I don't know, like a, you know, when it comes to schoolwork or when it comes to performing or whatever, come work at the gym or something like that or just chill, I'm always there for him. But at the same time, like when it comes to his performances, I'm his hype man. So if he needs me for a certain performance, like we did one in eight, um, last April for uh, the talent show, the BSU talent show over here. When he needs me to help him perform, I'm always there for him. I have no problem with that. You know what I mean? But the most important thing is that I'm just, I'm just there for support. Just to see you make it. Always love music. Family, you know, play Al Green, Marvin Gaye, um, ZZ Hill, blues. You know, when I wake up in the morning, I wake up to, you know, the Isley Brothers, and I would just, you know, hear that. And then on the other side, my uncles, you know, they were young, so I was hearing Big Daddy Kane. And the only soft music at the time was basically um, Luke. So, you know, I was hearing, like, you know, crude lyrics and stuff, like, at the age of four. And I was basically used to it at the time. So, two live crew, all of them. So, by the time, let's say, I moved to um, BA around age eight or nine, that's when Bone Thugs and Harmony came out. And when their um, album, um, the introduction, East 99, came out, that's basically when I started wanting to rap.